Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first official video and I'm super excited to share my recipes with you. Today I'm going to show you my take on the cast iron skillet cookie. But first, on low heat, what you're going to want to do is melt your butter. I'm using salted Amish butter, which if you can find it, I highly recommend it. And you definitely want to take your time with this step. You don't want the butter or your skillet to get too hot. Once you have all of your butter melted down, you're going to add your brown sugar and your white sugar. And then you're going to stir it to mix until it begins to look glassy. Once you've gotten to that point, which you'll see here in a moment, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and pop the skillet in the refrigerator or freezer for about 10 minutes just to let everything cool down so that way when you add your eggs you don't end up with scrambled eggs in your cookie. Definitely don't want that. pan has had some time to cool go ahead and remove it from the refrigerator or freezer whichever one you had in preheat your oven to 350 degrees and add your eggs to the butter and sugar mixture you want to get that stirred in really well then we're going to add our flour baking soda salt and vanilla extract mix all of that in and when we get to that point we will then add our chocolate chips and dark chocolate M&Ms. I will tell you in the original recipe I did not use dark chocolate M&Ms. I do think that that took this cookie to a whole new level so I highly highly recommend it. part with the dark chocolate M&Ms and your chocolate chips. You want to get those stirred in nice and evenly. You're going to smooth out the cookie in the pan, which sometimes can be a little bit sticky, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Just uh, make it look nice and uh, kind of uniform. You'll be good to go. Then you're going to pop that in the oven again at 350 degrees. You're going to cook that for 35 minutes and remove it. And we'll get to that point here in just a minute. Thank you. 
Now we've gotten it out of the oven. The house smells fantastic. Everybody's ready for a cookie. I'm going to give it a little shot. Normally, or in the future, I guess I should say, I will be giving each of the recipes a little bit of a review, maybe explaining some texture, flavors, uh, things along those lines to you. But for this one, you know how we do it in Texas. I got a little bluebell ice cream there. Put that on top. I'm going to give it a little shot. I will say I tried to just go for one bite. That didn't work out, so I had to go in for another. And, uh, well, I had to go in for another again. Absolutely delicious. As you can see, it is very soft and fantastic. Hope you love the video. Try the recipe out. If you like it, uh, please you know, like, subscribe. Love to hear comments, especially if you've made it. But again, I appreciate you checking out my video at Chicken Fried Kitchen. Thank you so much.